The Zombies Multiplayer Hybrid Mode Vortex is finally out along with its own event. And as a reward for completing this event, you get the Magma Camo, as well as a bunch of other miscellaneous rewards you can get for just getting XP while this event is active. So let's hop in and see what it's like. So it looks like our first match here is going to take place on Tetanus. Oh, and I get to start with the Ray Gun. Let's go. Our first ever game with the, on Vortex and we get the Ray Gun. This is so cool, dude. This is basically like free for all on a Zombies-esque version of Rust where only one player gets the ray gun and we just got lucky enough to get it on our first try and we're already dropping a bloodthirsty let's keep it going and never mind it's gone but i'm pretty sure if you kill the player that has the ray gun you get to get it at least that's how i'm hoping it goes and i just didn't get lucky get it right off the bat and never get it again but as you saw while i was using it it's a one shot kill which is really really good but i guess while you don't got the right gun you can work on trying to get some camos for your other guns here but just looking at the map it looks really sick this is a really cool version of rust i'm hoping if they do add in some sort of like round based zombies type mode or like an outlast or onslaught type mode i'm hoping they do it on these maps because if we're being real we're probably not going to get like a super fleshed out round based map for this game but there's probably a good chance that we get an onslaught type mode and if we do i would rather it be on these maps than just like multiplayer maps because at least these have a nice cool like reskin to it like look at that this is sick i want to get that ray gun back though give me that ah uh. ah uh. oh also with all this as you can see with our weekly challenge popping up here we do have a new set of weekly challenges. There's a new aftermarket part for the Holger 56 or 556. That's why I'm using it here. And there's a few different challenges of like getting kills with it, getting like headshots with it, all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna be working on the Holger trying to get it gold while we're playing this. And we got first place in our first game. So that was first to 25 kills. And I think a lot of our kills we got with the ray gun. We're off to a hot start. Ooh, now we're on Spore Yard. This is sweet. I always loved the Dark Aether and Cold War, and I thought it was way underused. So I'm glad we're at least seeing a bit more of it here in this game. Even if it's in multiplayer. Oh, we start with the ray gun again. They, they must know. I wonder what determines who starts with it. Like, are we just so lucky to get it randomly in two games in a row? Or does the game fuck with me? You know what? Let's never lose this ray gun. Let's only use it. I'm going to get 25 kills right off the bat with it. Nothing stopping us. Except for Steve's bald ass. God damn it, dude. I knew the second the words coming out of my mouth of, oh, let's hang on to this the whole game. I was about to die within seconds. Not a bad start, though. We got to get it back. This area is beautiful, dude. I really hope that we can use these maps in like private matches because I want to use this for all kinds of thumbnails, all kinds of screenshots. I'll check that towards the end of the video once we've had our fun. This is the kind of shit I want to see in the game, though. Just some random game modes that are just goofy and fun like this. Well, look at the skybox for this. A nice, like, orange sun. These, like, glowing pillars. I don't even know what the fuck those are. All I know is it looks sweet. No way I'm missing all these. There we go. Damn. Holy shit. I almost just fumbled the ray gun. I did fumble the ray gun. Ooh, sniped the ray gun there. And lost it immediately. Come on. We got to go undefeated in this mode. I should probably not say that. I'm going to jinx it. Oh, no. It's 24 to 24. We just need one kill. Oh, and that was going to be it. Damn it. Oh, we got there just a little too late. So much for the undefeated streak. Oh, and this was the guy, too. If we would have just gotten this room a second earlier. Okay, game three. We're now on Satan's Quarry. And unfortunately... We did not spawn in with the ray gun here. I guess we can't get it all three games in a row, but I'm going to get it right here. Oh, we in with the throwing knife. Give me that. We'll inspect on it just for fun. And we got to get our title back. We got to win this. But also, let's look in the sky. Oh, no. Bad time to look in the sky. All right. Free ray gun for you, I guess. We have the, the, the brightest fucking sun I've ever seen. Giant chains coming out of the sky. They went all out with these. These maps are sweet. We are way behind. We only have the one kill this game. And I can't seem to find anybody. Here we go. So far, I would say this is definitely like the slowest out of all the maps, but maybe one of the better looking. Because on Spore Yard, you're getting into so many more engagements so much faster than obviously on tet Tetanus, it being Rust. You're going to get into fights constantly. But maybe it's because I haven't really played a whole lot of Quarry. So we're at a whopping three kills here and first place is an eight. I haven't even seen the ray gun since I last had it. I haven't even heard it go off. Now it's mine. Let's try to get a kill with it. Let's do something with it. 
That's something. And there's a nade. Okay, so it seems like all the fighting going on is happening over in this corner here. Wait, it said that guy had the ray gun and I killed him and I didn't get it. Are they lying? The icon's still on the ground right here, but I don't have it. Did the mode glitch out? I said that guy had the ray gun too. And he's just dead. Does this guy just have the ray gun but doesn't? It constantly shows the icon for it, so it sucks for him. He's always going to be on that mini map. But he don't actually have the gun. I even think I've seen it in the kill feed. So now we're just basically playing free for all on Hal's Quarry. No ray gun involved. So as much as I'm liking this mode so far, it's definitely not without its bugs. How do you lose the ray gun in the ray gun mode? Where the fuck did it go? It is nice to see Quarry though without it being filled with water. Oh, no way he teabagged me to finish that. Are you fucking kidding me? And we weren't even top three. We've fallen from grace. I was just over here trying to appreciate the map. Okay, thank God I was in the final kill cam though. I wonder if I'm going to get the magma camo first or if I'm going to get gold on this weapon first. Right now, it doesn't seem like either one's going to happen. But the ray gun's just on the ground in here. Give me that. Is that what happened last time and it just didn't pop up like where it was located? At least we know now that it can actually just drop on the ground sometimes. I wonder if they add any modes later on with like different wonder weapons. I don't know how the wonder waff or the scorcher would work or really even the VR 11. Maybe I just talked myself out of it. Unless they're going to bring back the thunder gun or something. Crystal axe and multiplayer would be fun if they decide to add that to this game. Fuck you and your ray gun. My ray gun now, bitch. How did I hit marker with it? Isn't this supposed to be a one-shot kill? What happened? I want to see this. What, did I wall bang him? Nope, it must have just been splash damage. Either way, dumb. And we get another second place under our belts. And after three games with a double XP token going, we still have 11 tiers to go, it looks like. So let me try to knock these out until we get to the magma camo. So yeah about that. I thought this was going to be a nice, simple thing. So I hopped into a few more games of Vortex. I ended up getting gilded on my Holger. And you know, I was doing my thing. I was messing around, hit a few nasty throwing knives. Oh, what the fuck? What a throw. Oh, I'm too nasty with the throwing knife. Then I thought I wasn't getting as much XP as I thought I could, so I went ahead and switched over and hopped onto meat 24-7. After a few games of that, it still didn't feel like I was getting that much progress, so I pulled out the big guns and hopped in the plunder. And in there, I did the whole XP method thing where you get as much money as you can, and then you go to the buy station, you sell off all your valuables, and you just buy armor plates until you have no more money. And this strat was working pretty good. I was getting like 30 to 40,000 XP per game, and it still took a few games to get done because little did I know that you needed 458,000 XP to get this event done. Oh, we finally got the event done. Only after like four hours of grinding. I did not think it was going to take this long. And I started like the minute the event came out. But I don't seem to have it. Is Vortex in here? Does not look like we can play Vortex in a custom game. Can we pick those maps though? Also, no, that's lame. Where's my magma camo? So I spent all that time trying to unlock this camo and you're telling me I can't use it? And that's exactly what happened. Even though it says we finished the event, we have no camo to be found. And to top it all off, in private matches, you can't play Vortex or even go explore in those maps. And while I've been editing this, the COD Update Twitter account put out a tweet saying that the XP rates are wrong and you actually need 1,233,000 XP to get the camo. So we really only made it a third of the way there and there's no way I'm grinding for multiple more hours just to get this camo. We'll get it when we get it. All right, well, since we can't actually see the camo we spent all that time unlocking, I'm gonna have to end it here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.